From a man who eats iron for breakfast to a woman who survived a fall from 30,000 feet without a parachute, these are the stories of individuals who defy the odds and inspire us all. At fourth, we have Michel Lotito, a man from France who is known for his unusual ability to consume metal objects. At first glance, he may seem like a regular person, but he has lived his entire life doing things that most people couldn't even imagine. Yes, that's right, he's one of those rare people in the world who eats metal. And not just any metal, but sharp, pointy pieces that are difficult to digest. When he was just nine years old, he ate his first piece of metal, and by the time he was 16, he was already performing these amazing feats in public. At first, people thought it was all just a drama or an act, but when they did x-rays on him, they were amazed to see the metal passing through his digestive system. Can you believe that? The doctor says that Michelle's stomach lining is stronger than usual, which causes him to produce more acid. In this condition, he can easily digest 900 grams of metal daily. Michelle has showcased his unique ability in public appearances, where he has eaten 18 bicycles, 15 supermarket trolleys, 6 chandeliers, 2 bases, 7 TV sets, a 500-meter steel chain, and even a whole Cessna 150 airplane. It took him a full two years to consume the entire plane. Michel's method for consuming metal involves first breaking it into small pieces and then swallowing it with the help of mineral oil or water. They say that consuming 900 grams of metal daily has no impact on their life, and to this day, they haven't experienced any discomfort from doing so. In fact, Michel has even earned a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the strangest diet in the world. In 1997, he stopped eating metal, and a few years later, he left this world altogether. At third, Doctor was witnessing something truly extraordinary for the first time in their life. In the Hunan province of China, a 101-year-old woman named Zhang Ruifang was living her life in a normal way until a year ago, when a hard lump started to form on her forehead. Within a year, a six-centimeter-long horn-like growth had emerged from her head, and to everyone's surprise, another growth was forming on the other side of her forehead as well. What makes this case even more fascinating is that the growths are made of the same material as our nails— can you believe that? Doctors are still trying to understand how and why this happened to Miss Zhang. It's almost as if she has become a real-life unicorn. At second, on February 2nd, 1985, a strange virus attacked Clive Waring's nervous system, leaving him with a condition called amnesia. Since then, he has been unable to store new memories in his brain, making him one of the only people in the world who can't remember anything for more than seven seconds. Imagine forgetting what you said just a few seconds ago or what you ate for breakfast a few minutes ago. It's a heartbreaking condition that has left Clive with only a few memories of his past life. He can remember some things about his children, but not their names. Before falling ill, Clive was a talented piano artist who started his career in music. Despite his condition, he can still play the piano without reading any sheet music or notes. It's incredible to see how he can make beautiful music without even remembering how to read music. At first, is it possible for someone to survive a fall from 33,000 feet without a parachute and live to tell the tale? Well, the answer is yes, and the story of Vesna Vulovic is a remarkable one. On January 26, 1962, Vesna was working as a flight attendant for JAT Yugoslav Airlines on a flight from Sweden to Serbia when disaster struck. One day, it was Vesna's day off, but there was a mix-up with another flight attendant named Insa, and fate brought them both to work on their day off. At exactly 4.01 p.m., when the plane reached the altitude of Czech Republic, there was a sudden loud explosion in their luggage area. It was a bomb blast that tore the plane into three pieces. At that moment, the plane was flying at its highest altitude of 33,000 feet in sub-zero temperature and with oxygen levels as low as possible. As soon as the plane broke into pieces, the cabin pressure dropped and the crew, including all the passengers, were sucked out of the plane. Vesna was lucky to have gotten stuck behind the drink trolley in the back of the plane, which prevented her from falling into the low-pressure zone and being dragged down as the plane's rear section crashed onto thick ice. This was the reason why Vesna survived the accident. But it wasn't just luck that saved her life. The person who heard Vesna's screams was a retired medic, who immediately provided first aid to Vesna, even before rescue workers arrived. Many of her bones were broken in the accident, and she was in a coma for three days. But after ten months, she was able to stand on her own two feet again. According to the doctors, 
Vesna's blood pressure was low at the time of the crash, which saved her from a heart attack. This is how Vesna survived the fall without a parachute and cheated death. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more amazing videos.